The Dodgers have made many headlines in the offseason for signing a huge Japanese superstar. Yes, of course, we're talking about Yoshinobu Yamamoto and only Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Right? Right? And also Shohei Otani. Their spending in free agency amounts to over a billion dollars. And if it wasn't enough that this team already has Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman in the lineup. What does this mean for baseball? The bright side is that everyone and their pet iguana will want to watch the Los Angeles Dodgers this year. That is welcome news for the MLB. The 2023 World Series was the least watched on record. You might be thinking, well, yeah, who wants to watch the Rangers play the frickin' Diamondbacks? True that, but the World Series and regular season have suffered sagging numbers for years now. The Dodgers, a massive market team with the biggest star in the game, will likely reverse that trend, especially if they win it all. But what the folks at Dodger Stadium are doing right now is also destructive. They have spent over $1 billion on free agency this year. Yes, that is correct. Worse yet, all that money is going on two guys alone, and the team they are joining is already incredibly strong. The truth is, the amount of money and star power that the Dodgers currently enjoy is ridiculous. But it's hard to blame the Dodgers for this. They have a big market and lots of money, and are making the best of it. The problem is that the MLB brass allows the big teams to become empires, while their small market equivalents become irrelevant minnows. The following of the storied and historical Oakland A's franchise is a sign of that disorder. Honestly, it is high time that MLB got its act together and put a genuine salary cap together in this sport because the current weekly structured luxury cap rules just ain't cutting it. Just look at what the Dodgers are building on. They had a fantastic 2023 season. In the regular season anyway, they had a 100-62 record, which is 617 if you are more statistically minded. It was a part of the long, sustained period of dominance for the Empire from the City of Angels. During those years, they won their 11th straight playoff berth and 10th National League West title. But of course, that didn't do the trick in the playoffs. The Dodgers were stunned by the Arizona Diamondbacks and beaten 4-2 in a fairly lopsided division series. It was the kind of season that most teams would follow with careful roster tweaking and a few careful additions to overcome weaknesses. But the Dodgers aren't an average team, and they have decided to swing for the fences, starting with a guy who swings hard and makes others swing and miss. Los Angeles brought in Shohei Otani for an absolutely insane $700 million contract, locking up the biggest star in the sport for an entire decade. Usually a contract that size would limit a team's room for maneuvering, but the Dodgers got super creative with this contract. The Japanese superstar decided to spread the love across many years. He will earn a mere $2 million per season, then when the contract expires in 2034, it will jump to a ridiculous $68 million per year. The upshot of the structure is that the Dodgers get more flexibility than an already expensive team adding a massive signing would usually have. That is why they were able to bring in pitcher Yoshinobu Yamamoto for a $325 million 12-year deal. With all the excitement surrounding Otani, some have overlooked how exceptional this pitcher is. Jeff Passan of ESPN wrote of him, Yamamoto has earned the right to carry the black duffel. Not only is he a great pitcher, but arguably the greatest ever in Nippon professional baseball. He won three straight MVP awards and three consecutive Sawamura awards, Japan's equivalent of the Cy Young. And all that emanates from his unimpressive 5'10 and 176 pound frame. Yamamoto has a truly unique ability to spin the ball, combining that with an effective slider, a curveball, and a varied fastball repertoire. It should be very difficult to hit this guy. His fastball alone is formidable. He usually throws his fastball at 94-95 miles per hour and can do so deep into his starts. But when need be, he can unleash extra speed reaching 97 to about 98 miles per hour for added power. He indeed projects as an ace. But Yoshinobu will take time to acclimate, at least in theory. Kodai Senga easily fit into the top of the Mets rotation in his first season, so there are reasons for optimism. But nevertheless, don't take this to mean he's going to cut through everyone like a hot knife through butter. He will need time to acclimate to how things work in the US and how the different balls will affect his different pitches. Because on a good day, Yamamoto can be scary. 
But if people seem to overlook Yamamoto somewhat, they can be forgiven for that oversight. After all, the ace is still unproven in the MLB. But Otani has done things in this league that were unimaginable until recently. You could make a case that he is the best player ever, not necessarily because he is the best hitter or pitcher in the league, but because in both instances, he is close. Therefore, signing Otani is like getting a premier slugger and a top of the rotation ace. Shohei has only been in the MLB for six years. Over that time, he has won Rookie of the Year, two MVPs, three All-Star selections, and four MLB First Team selections. During his early years in the league, there was justified concern about his injuries. But through excellent conditioning and detailed work, he has become tough and durable, protecting the only flaw in his shimmering armor. Sounds overblown? Well, it's hard to argue with the numbers. He has slammed 171 homers and 437 RBIs as a hitter in just six seasons. But it's the advanced stats that really tell the story of his excellence. The best stat for understanding offensive contribution is the OPS Plus measure, which compares players to the median league player. Last season, Shohei had an OPS Plus of 184. Now the average player puts up 100 per season. That is one of the most recent numbers by any player. Meanwhile, his career number is identical to that of Bryce Harper and Paul Goldschmidt. Or if you want historical parallels, the same as Mike Piazza and Harmon Killerproof. That means that as a hitter, Shohei is a surefire Hall of Famer. Now add in the pitching. Otani on one, two. Got it. Otani has a 38-19 record with an ERA of 3.01 and 608 strikeouts. Sure, he has never won a Cy Young, but he was among the top four candidates in 2022. Bleacher Report ranks him as the number 21 best pitcher in baseball, while Bill James has him up at number 14. Either way, that makes him ace caliber. While not necessarily enough for a Hall of Fame career on its own, you have to add that pitching excellence to his batting prowess to get Shohei's actual value. War or wins above replacement is the best stack for combining both metrics. Unsurprisingly, in two of the last three seasons, Otani led all of baseball in war. The one time he lost out was to Aaron Judge's phenomenal 2022 season, which saw him drop to second place. And Shohei will be the favorite to lead the MLB in war every year for the foreseeable future because he's the best freaking player in baseball. But maybe not next year because Otani won't pitch in 2024 for the Dodgers. He's still recovering from ACL surgery for his throwing elbow. Anyway, the Dodgers can call on another new signing, Tyler Glasnow, to pick up the slack. He has the tools you want from an ace, including an overpowering fastball approaching 100 miles per hour in speed. Additionally, he likes to strike batters out with a killer slide and a curveball that clocks in the mid-80s. Basically, the man is a menace. And by Dodger standards, Tyler comes dirt cheap at $136.5 million over five years. Overall, it feels like the Dodgers are trying to buy their way to another World Series. But these contracts will allow the team to compete for many years to come. It looks like the Dodgers are trying to build a dynasty rather than just win a title. However, things aren't going to be that easy. There are so many good teams in the league, and the Braves, Orioles, and Astros in particular come to mind. We don't know if the Dodgers' quest for dominance will pan out, but we know there will be plenty of drama surrounding Otani on the diamond. But Shohei is equally fascinating off the field. Check out our video on his fantastic lifestyle. Hint, it's nothing like you imagine.